Hi girlies, it's me, Joni82, and I'm here with a quick elf haul. Um, I got this order a couple of weeks ago, and actually, I believe two of the items were gifted to me, and I will um, let you know which um, two items they were. Um, just a quick go over face of today. I just did my brows with my Maybelline Definer Brow in dark brown. I did, you know, I lightly concealed under my eye. I have no milk of magnesia, no monster chafing cream, no foundation, no powder on my face whatsoever. So if I'm looking extra shiny, that's why. Um, so lightly concealed under my um my eyes, I use this Elf concealer, and I'll get into more details on this item because it's actually part of my haul. Um, on my top waterline, I used the Maybelline Ultra Liner in black. My bottom waterline, I hold this as my son would say, many, many months ago. Uh, no, he says many, many days ago. Or something he says is just really weird. But um, there's a War Paint Beauty Ico pen that I got um, when they had their buy one, get one half off sale on at Hot Topics. So this was a dollar, and I got the second one for one fifty. So it was a really good deal. And this one is in um, Heartbroken. And it's just a pretty purple. And it's kind of messed up because I tried to use it as a um, a lipstick, but it didn't work out so well. So I'm going to still keep playing around with it to see if I can get it to do what I need it to do. So um, on my all over my eye area, I just used my MSF. It, it toned down the light concealing I did under my eye. And I just used this as um, an all over lid color. On my lips, I lined my lips with this Prestige Liner in E79 and Masquerade. There it is. And it's just, um, I don't, you yeah, I can watch it. It's a blue base purple right there. So I lined and filled my entire lip with this. And this is actually an eyeliner, but I use it as a lip liner. And then to, um... On top of that, I use my OCC Lip Tar in Belladonna. I don't know if you can see the name right there. Pretty purple. And I got some interesting stares on my lip color. Because it's very, very bright, bold, kind of neonish purple. I don't know if it's going to come across in this video like that. But I got some interesting stares. And one lady was like, she came around the corner when I went to work. She's like, wow, that's an interesting, pretty lip color. I was like, thank you. But I got pretty much stares and, you know, stuff from a lot of other people. And I just applied it with this um, lip brush. Let's see, it has product all over it. And I really like it. Just want to do something simple um because i had a lot going on with my lips so that's enough of the face of today look i got going on so i want to get into this haul and i'm gonna try to keep it under 10 minutes but probably not so um they had a 50 percent off studio so which they pretty much have a lot i didn't go crazy and my stuff came in this bag i wanted to try a couple of the new items um so I actually have four concealers here, which I didn't realize I had that many, but okay. First, I start off with the only, I guess you can say brush. I got the uh, glitter eyeshadow applicator. Well, it looks like this, so you guys know that I'm trying to get into the whole glitter thing. Haven't really done it yet, but I have everything that I need, and it's just the silicone base tip on it, and I thought this would be good to try so I won't damage any of my brushes with the glitter. I was just going to probably grab two brushes out of my brush collection that I don't really use that much and just make them strictly for um, glitter because I didn't want to like, uh, you know, randomly mess up my uh, my favorite brushes with glitter. So that's that. And I'm going to get into these. Is it two? Yes, two. These the two six pan palettes and these were gifted to me by my big sis miss nio 302 she kind of hooked um well not kind of she hooked a couple of us ladies up from the um fabulous faces with um some uh extra goodies she got from elf so it's kind of like 
first come first serve let me know if you want these and i'll send them to you and i was able to catch that deal so i'm very very happy with that so this first one here is blue eyes number two and that's what it looks like really excited to try this navy blue with blue sparkles in it so that's that and next i have hazel eyes one which was also sent by miss naya and it looks like this and that purple and the khaki green i think those are very pretty in this palette so i think i'm really going to enjoy these two palettes um next i'll just jump into the concealers i finally got my hands on the medium concealer palette i have the light one up here somewhere which I wasn't really too impressed with, but I've been having my eyes on the medium since I first started ordering from e.l.f. Uh, many, many days ago. <laughs> so um, I said, let me get it, because every time I am ready to place an order, it's sold out, and it seems to be sold out forever in a day. Um, next, um, I got this Maximum coverage concealer and it's oil free and this one is in the color tan and let me see if i can grab okay just to give you a size comparison this is the tinted moisturizer which i don't use and this is the concealer so you can see the difference in the size the larger one is the tinted moisturizer and this is the concealer and I wanted to give it a try because um, it claims to be a very full coverage um, concealer. And I guess, I, in my opinion, they're comparing it to kind of like the Heart Candy Camouflage Concealer, which um, is very concentrated and definitely covers any imperfections, even tattoos. So that's what this one is claiming also. So I thought it would be very interesting to try. I haven't tried it, but I want to, I guess we can what the consistency is together and it's very thick and it is concentrated it feels very similar to the hard candy but it's coming off as being more blendable because with the hard candy you have to work fast because that sucker will dry on you so fast it's not even funny so kind of covered right there you can see it's very thick but it's creamy and FYI, this is tan. I think it's one shade darker than this, and then that's it, which I believe is almond. So I'm an NC42, so I'm pretty light, and this is probably going to be a highlighter on me, probably. I might be able to use it for a regular concealer in the wintertime since my, um, my skin tone will be lightening. So I'm really happy with that, so I'm just going to wipe that off. Um, you guys know that I've been on a search to find a good concealer for my eyebrows. And I know a lot of people keep saying, oh, LA girls. I have two of them, you guys, and have yet to use them. And at one point I lost it. Lost the first one. Then I bought a second one and ended up finding the first one. So that's how I end up with two. And luckily they're in two different shades. So I am going to try those. But for right now, I am happy with this concealer from e.l.f. Let me adjust my light a bit. The concealer like this. So this is the Cover Everything Concealer from the Essential line. And I have light and then I have medium. Okay, I got light and medium because I thought that I would use medium as a regular concealer. And use light to um, highlight um, my brow. So I was going to use the light underneath and use a medium on top because I don't like to have a lighter concealer on top so use the medium on top and possibly spot correct on my face but this is coming off as a highlighter and this one is just hella light so I don't know if you can see 
this this light is like ivory and this medium is like a medium beige so it's it's very light but um, I love the consistency of it I love the coverage that it gives me and I love the fact that it's two dollars and I get um, a lot of product and here is 0 0.141 ounces or 4.0 grams so you get a decent amount for two dollars so so far so good I've been using this about maybe a week going on two weeks and I'm I'm really happy with that so yay for me I actually um, got another brightening eye color quad in pretty pink um, I'm trying to collect them all because it seems like um, on the way that um, this is the pink quad seems like the way that elf has been going like they're I think they're going to end up phasing out the dollar line and creating it into a two dollar line and with the studio phasing out the three dollar products and making it um four dollar products i am missing some stuff i thought this was not right hopefully i have okay i have everything i need there too okay let me go ahead and get the moving because it's going to yeah past 10 minutes there i got the two new contour and blush kits this first one is in Turks and Caicos, and I know you guys have seen these everywhere. And that's that. And this is going to be so nice for women of color. That that highlight and that bronze, especially the bronze. I'm glad they're starting to get into the deeper shades. And this one is, I am really excited about. Um, this one is Antigua. And this one has that pretty pink and that beautiful bronze color and I know this is a, a NARS dupe for a fact and that's the color right there so so happy to try that um I got the one of the baked eyeshadow palettes and this one is in California and this is the neutral one um I didn't get the NYC palette and I'm kind of glad I didn't because there's something wrong with that palette as far as shipping goes um, I know for a fact my sis uh, got this got the NYC palette sent to her twice and the, for some reason the blue is not holding up within transit like when she gets the palette it's always the blue one that is um, damaged and it was the same thing with Ladybug tuition I don't know what's up with the formula of the blue in that palette but just be warned if you do order that palette don't be surprised if um it you receive it and the blue is the only color that is broken in the palette but this is a beautiful palette and you guys both palettes are sephora baked shadow dupes i think the california the um the name of the sephora one is moonlight or moonlit you'll see it in the uh, section that has the Sephora makeup and both palettes the NYC and the California palettes are dead on dupes for the Sephora palettes and the Sephora palettes are um, $30 Elf is selling this for 10 but if you catch it on a sale like I did you can get it for five so $30 for five dollars great savings so I'm just gonna do a couple of swatches I'm actually gonna wet my hand on this baby wipe just to moisten it up because you know, by being a big product, I can get a better color payoff. So, and this is my first time swatching. Like I said, I've had these products for almost two weeks, but I like to do first looks with you girlies. I want to do this purple. So, that's four of the colors right there. So, good color payoff and the other reason why I didn't get the um, blue one too because it reminded me so much of the one of the baked um, wet and wild holiday palettes so I don't use those so I figured I didn't I shouldn't get a dupe Ugh. and these were also gifted by my big sis also 
I've got four out of the five of the HD blushes. So that's that. Um, this first one is in Showstopper. And I actually want to do um, a swatch of this one. If I can get it out the box. Technical difficulties, you guys. And it's just a pretty plum color right there. And it has a pump on it. And I'm just going to do a small pump. Okay, I just want to show you how small of a pump that I did. Because I heard this; these things are super concentrated. Wow, it is. That was probably enough. That would be enough to do both cheeks. Look how much, how pigmented it is from that half a squirt that came out. So, wow. I'm really impressed by that. And... Next, I have Diva, which is just a pretty magenta-like pink. Have Encore, it's another pretty pink. And lastly, I have Superstar, which is like a coraly peachy orange color, right there. So that's it for my um my elf hole. I do see another elf hole in my future because they are one by one adding new products to their site. So if you haven't checked them out, um, they have probably, I know they have a, a cream blush bronze duo that, oops, that's like this. The original color they have a cream blush version of that they have a couple of new brushes I want to get um, jumbo eye pencils that are being compared to the uh, NY, you know, NYC, NYX jumbo pencils and jumbo like chapsticks and I think they're going to be comparable I don't even have one to grab they're going to be comparable to these the Revlon just bitten I don't know if it's like a, a lip stain but the way that the packaging and stuff looks like it's going to be similar to those so that's my elf haul um I'm gonna come back with a very 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 quick um haul a wet and wild haul so please stay tuned for that I'm so sorry this video is so long thank you girlies so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video bye